What's going on guys on my 180 thermostat video little icon right here I mentioned to you that I would show you how to actually tune using HP tuners and set the fans so that your your fans cut on and your cooling system works properly because if you do install a 180 degree thermostat without setting the fans uh, you, you can you could ruin a lot of things um, you could burn out your fans and in order to have the swap complete you got to do this so and I don't know how to do it on on uh, Diablo or anything like that but HP tuners it's super easy and I'm going to show you right now Alright guys, so what you are looking at right now is the VCM editor, which you see right here. You will need this in order to make this change, just the HP tuners uh, editing software. Right here you have the scanner and then this is your actual editor. So first things first, you have to open this. Once this is open, uh, this is the screen that you will get. As you see, you have your favorites, your operating systems, your engine, engine diagnostics, trans, trans diagnostic fuel system, and systems and speedo. What we're gonna be doing with today in changing your fans will be your system. So first things first, you need to click onto that. And then you have general fans, AC, and communication. You're gonna go to your fans. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, as you can see, some of these are green, they are discolored, and that is because I have what's called a compare file, which is a really cool feature with HP tuners. Um, it allows you to overlay the stock tune with what you're, you're tuning now, hence compare. You're able to compare the differences between the two. So right now, this is my current um, fan settings and tune. Hey, you see I got my high speed fans coming in at 190 degrees Fahrenheit, medium fan coming in at 185 degrees Fahrenheit, and low speed fan 181. That's my preference. You don't have to do the same temperatures as me, but this is just what I chose for myself. Moving on. So, go up here and you click your original file, you can see that it was quite a bit hotter. 226 degrees Fahrenheit was for the high speed fan and 226 was for the medium, 217 for the low speed fan. So you have your AC off, AC off, AC on, low speed and high speed. So what you're gonna wanna do in order to change these is you're gonna come here you're gonna click on these and let's just say you wanna change it to 195 because that's what you feel is good. It's literally all you do. It is super, super easy. And once it's clicked, it's changed. But I'm gonna go ahead and change that back because that's not what I want mine at. So 190 it is. Once you get these three changed and these three changed and these three changed, that is essentially it for setting the fans. Now, there are some other things that you might wanna do, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video. This is strictly for fans. The reason you want to set your fans at a lower temperature is because, well, you, you wanna cool off your coolant. You want your coolant system to be the temperature that you, does, the temperature you set it as. So if you have a 180 degree thermostat, you don't want to have your fans coming on at 217 because your thermostat's going to be always open and you're not going to be cooling down your engine. Another thing this affects is the higher your, your cooling is, the higher the engine block's going to run, which is in turn going to increase the engine bay temperatures, which is going to increase your intake air temps. Now, once you start affecting intake air temps, that's where it starts drawing power out of your your vehicle. Higher intake temperatures 
the more timing it's gonna actually pull. I can do a video on that if you want at a later date on how to set that so that not as much timing gets pulled from higher intake temperatures. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. There's not too much more to this. It's like I said, it takes five minutes. It's going to take longer to write the actual vehicle than it does to make the changes. But as you can see, 190 degrees compared to 226 degrees is, is quite a big change. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions. Share this with your friends if they're thinking about getting into tuning and they have HP tuners and they need help. Just sit, have them send me a message and I can do the best that I can. Hope you have a good night and take care.